What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We just did this knife last time, but I'm leaving it out here just for a point of reference. Today we're going to look at the Great Eastern Cutlery Keychain Knife. Came out last year, pattern production premiere. Um, I had picked one up, kind of forgot about it honestly, just kind of kept it in the tubes. I thought it was a unique thing. Uh, I for one usually like a really low profile keychain, so I don't put a lot on there, but let's have a quick look at this guy. Obviously, got to be one of the smaller knives, the, the 05 pattern on GEC's lineup here. I got one of the classic kind of pin blade designs, the spear point. Nice stag figuring for this little knife. Every one of these, of course, going to be different, both in thickness and in the figuring on the sides just dependent uh, on on what the stock is. I think they do a good job at GEC of trying to pair their their stag up in, in, in logical ways so you have a good sense of uniformity. This one kind of comes in towards the middle just slightly. Stainless steel on these blades as well, just like the, uh, the Fish Keeper that we looked at last time. Great Eastern Cutlery on the Tang. There's the uh, Pattern Production Premier PPP etching. Model number on that side. SS, once again, stainless steel. Does have a half stop. Good walk and, and talk, even for a small knife. I've got kind of sturdy fingernails. It is kind of a small nail nick here. Um, you can't really, well, sort of can pinch that one. You do kind of need to get the fingernail in there. Um, I don't know, I feel like, I don't know what an average hand size is, but. Yeah, I'm I'm five foot nine if that makes any difference. So here's here's that knife in my hand. Definitely smaller than like the 14s. Um, another one of the small knives I can think of. Um, and of course this one has this sort of permanently built into the back spring here, uh, a keychain holder, which is new. You could do lanyard, you could do other stuff here. That comes with a nice little um, Great Eastern Cutlery kind of stamped leather uh, keychain. Thing here which is which is nice nice touch it's a neat little knife very lightweight um, we get the ruler out we're looking at uh, you know maybe what is that inch and a half cutting length you know just shy of 40 millimeters overall you know what was that come out to a little over four not quite four and a half if you include the key ring inches, about 11 centimeters. <clears throat> and yeah, so if we look that over a you know medium to large size knife, the the difference is pretty is uh, is pretty staggering to compare those here, right? Um, so what I thought would be fun is to look at some of my even smaller knives that I've had in my collection here, um, see see how they compare. So. What else do I have here? Well, this is a pretty um, typical small pocket knife. This is a case peanut. You could see a little bit, a little bit smaller than a case peanut. We also have here. Uh, this is an Openel um, number four. I believe we got this in a trip to France. Actually, this one is a typical. Uh, model there is a kind of tapering thing. This is a carbon model. And then does this one have a sliding? No. So this one is not a locking. Some of theirs slide here on the collar to lock the blade open, but really thin blades on the open L. Nice little knife. Uh, but the number four is definitely getting on the small side, but looks like the 05 is smaller. These two knives are much more similar. So do, can we get find anything smaller? I do have two knives that are a little bit smaller. This is an antique knife. This is a mother of pearl, um, not not a plastic. I think this is a, a genuine mother of pearl. Uh, hard to capture on camera with the light. All right, let's see here. Hmm. 
Well, I've I've forgotten what this is. I'm trying to read it. If you know what this is, uh, you can you can post in the comments. W H Morley, I think. I think this is an M here. Morley. It's marked Germany. I have to get like my jeweler's loop out or something to 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 read the rest of that. Tang stamp on this side is a it's a flower or maybe a clover. You guys can see that. This is a little sort of traditional pen knife. Um, spear point blades, long nail nick on, on this. Uh, this one is a little almost more like an awl on this guy. Um, feels like maybe there was an edge on it at one point. It's a little hard to say. Also has that same clover flower um, thing on the, excuse me, thing on the tang stamp. Also, this one's a little more clearly W.H. Morley and Sun, Germany. Nice little pen knife. Um, and this guy, I'll just leave the main blade open here, is a little bit smaller than the 05. And I was surprised to find I actually have one even smaller. We have this guy. This is an old jig bone. You can see the construction very similar to today's GECs with the with the brass liners and the 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 steel back spring there, nickel bolsters. You know, classic classic pocket knife construction. This one has two very small, really actually surprising for the age. Walk and talk on these old on these old pieces here. Um, has one uh, very small, probably was a spear blades, had some uh, some hefty sharpening on it. Um, let's see if we can get a look at that tang stamp at all. This is a hammer brand, an old hammer brand. And then the main uh, blade on this guy is actually not a blade, so really there's only one blade. Here we go. You've got your you've got your nail nick, or rather nail file, on this side. Um, small, maybe could have been used as like a small pry tool, a small blade. I don't know what they would have used this kind of thing for at the end here. Seems like it could have had an edge. Maybe it's like a cuticle tool, something like that. This is the New York Knife Co. Walden. see there. I mean, this, this knife could be 100 years old at this point. I honestly don't know. I'm not an expert on them, but it's just one of the older ones I had. But this guy is one that is the smallest of them all here, just for some perspective there. So this, this little knife here, this little knife here at the bottom, that's coming in overall at a three quarter inch, at a three quarter inch cutting blade, overall length open is only a little over three inches, three and a quarter. Closed, two and a quarter inches, a little more, two and a quarter inches. Really cool little knife, so. I don't know if anybody out there's got a smaller knife. It'd be interesting to see it at some point. You can't even open the thing. But I think it's always cool to compare some of the the newer GEC entries to the uh, to the classics that they're that they're derived from. Anyway, hope you found something uh, helpful or entertaining in this channel, and I hope everyone has a great day. Thanks for watching.